Welcome to our video series on advanced features in Windows XP. In this video, we'll discuss navigating through folders. In this video, I'm going to talk you through how to navigate through folders. I've touched on this previously, but now we'll go through it in more depth, so you really know how to find your way around the folder structure of your computer. So I have a folder here on the desktop. Double click, and OK. It just contains one folder, subfolder, and three files. And very simply, I've already touched on why you need to keep an eye on the address bar, so you know exactly where you are. and how each of these backslashes is a dividing line between folders. So there's C drive. So we're in C drive and then the Documents and Settings subfolder. And then Owner subfolder. And then another subfolder, Desktop. And these are, by the way, automatically created folders by Windows. And then this is a folder I created on the desktop. This is a new folder. So that's where we are now. And to go into any subfolder, I just double click and I'm into that folder as you can see. The path has changed. The path to where we are now, the address. But importantly, if you want to go to a folder, just do this. Just click on the up icon in the toolbar. And now we're back, you see. And if I do it again, now we're at the desktop level, and we're in fact at the desktop here, and we can see exactly what we would see if we were just looking at the desktop. It's the same. As I previously mentioned, the desktop is just a folder. It's just presented in quite a different way, effectively as a work area. So since the desktop is really just a folder, it's viewable as just a folder. So that's where we are. And interestingly, actually, my Network Place and Internet Explorer aren't actually on my desktop. They're not there, but they appear in the folder of the desktop. So there is a slight difference there. But you know, it's just a folder. And if we go back into the subfolder, Double click. So there we are. We're back there again. And into the subfolder, double click. And then into subfolder 2, double click. And that's where we are. So again, this part of the path is the actual path to the desktop, the desktop folder. And then we have a subfolder. This is a new folder. And then another subfolder called subfolder, and yet another subfolder called subfolder 2. So again, that's exactly where we are. And to retrace our steps and go back up a folder, just use the up button. That just takes us up a folder. Again, and again. Back to the desktop. Interestingly, there's also the back button, which is quite different from the up button. The Up button takes you to the folder, which essentially owns the folder you're in. OK, this is a new folder, owns subfolder. Subfolder is part of this is a new folder. If I go up, it takes me back to the folder that owns, that holds, the folder I was in, if that's clear. Let me do it one more time. So let's go into subfolder. There we go. So I'm in subfolder, and subfolder is owned by the folder. This is a new folder. Of course, it's a tree-like structure. You can have one folder at the base of the tree, and then that folder contains five folders. And those folders each contain three folders, for example. So it's like a tree structure. You get wider and wider with each folder, but each folder is tucked within the previous folder. 
So to jump off at any time to the next folder up, just use the up button. Whereas effectively, if you click on the subfolder, you're going down deeper into the folder structure, if that analogy makes sense. Okay, but the important difference between up and back is that back works just like a browser. The back button takes you to what you were looking at last. It just goes back a step. So if I do back, it takes me back to the step I was at previously. And you can also go forward, but let me demonstrate this. Let me close this window and then reopen it so we're starting fresh. So let's go into the subfolder, double click, and then let's go up to come out of the subfolder, back into the parent folder as it's called. It's called a parent folder because it owns the subfolder. So back into the parent folder, click, and yes, we're back into the parent folder. This is a new folder. But now, if I press back, it just undoes the last step. So the last step was to go up a folder. And if I undo that, we go down, back into the subfolder. So again, it just works like the back button on a browser. It just takes you back to where you were previously in the folder structure, one step at a time. So often, that's a useful shortcut you can use. You can go back and forward through steps you've already taken if you wish. This is a very important concept. I've already touched on the concept of folders, how you can consider your hard drive a filing cabinet, or your one hard drive, your C drive, you can consider a drawer in your filing cabinet. And then that drawer has multiple folders, and each of those folders has other folders in it. As I mentioned, the deeper you go, the more folders you have, the more subfolders you end up with, because... Okay, just to really demonstrate this again, I've gone back to the root of C, the root of my C drive, and these are the top-level folders within, let's say, this drawer of the filing cabinet. Then in each of these folders, there's subfolders, and in each of the subfolders, there's generally more subfolders, and so on. So again, it's a tree-like structure, and the deeper you go, you get progressively wider, because you have more and more and more subfolders. It's important to become familiar with the navigation structure, and get used to navigating through the structure by double-clicking to go deep into a folder, and by using the up arrow, the up icon or button, to go up a folder. For example, again, if I double-click to go into this TMP folder, and now I do up, it takes me back to C drive, to the root of C. So this is one of the most fundamental Windows schools, actually, navigating your way through the folders structure. It's well worth the time spent getting used to it and comfortable with it. And as I've also shown, you can use the back button to just take you back a step. So I've gone back a step, and I'm back in the TMP folder. And if I do back again, I'm back in the C drive. You see that you just retrace your steps that way, which is sometimes helpful. So really, this navigating through folders is really one of the most fundamental Windows concepts and skills. It's definitely worth the time getting comfortable with it and getting used to it. You can create folders just to play around with and navigate through them, navigate into and back out of them, and create dummy files just as I did, empty dummy files. With a bit of practice, you should find you'll start becoming familiar with it, and soon enough, as with all things with computers, if you do it long enough, you stop thinking about it and it just becomes second nature to navigate your way through the Windows XP folder structure to wherever you want to go.